So we've started using technology at Sydney Olympic Park with a focus on keeping people safe. Uh, it's our Creating Safer Crowded Places project and it's a pilot that we're using here to look at our, how we use our CCTV technology and system to be able to measure how many people are in a place, how what their flow is, how quickly they're moving through that place, but most importantly, what is their mood? Are they happy or are they sad? Is it positive or negative? So that we can then intervene to make sure that they're having the best experience possible. So the system is designed to measure the density of a crowd and the mood of a crowd by looking at people's faces. It doesn't recognise those faces or identify them in any way, but it measures whether they're smiling and happy or whether they're frowning. We then get alerted if the mood becomes negative and we can then intervene and by making PA announcements, by sending some of our marshals in or customer service staff to be able to provide assistance or even working with some of our security and New South Wales police to make sure that people are feeling safe while they come out here. Yes, we've used the technology um, quite a bit over the last year for concerts like Ed Sheeran and Harry Styles, for events like the State of Origin and the NRL Grand Final, where we get hundreds of thousands of people that come to Sydney Olympic Park. But one of the most recent times was with the FIFA Women's World Cup, where we had five full houses at the, at the big stadium. But we also had a live site that happened before that event. And we used this technology to be able to measure how many people were in front of our live site screens. And once they reached capacity, we were able to redirect people to other areas where they could comfortably watch the, the Matildas play in the quarterfinal before their game. We also were able to work with our partners at Transport for New South Wales to get messages down the line through the train network and at Central Station um, and as people arrived on trains at Sydney Olympic Park. So we were giving them the right information to make sure that they could access the, the screens where they could be comfortable. So for the Taylor Swift concerts, which we're expecting a, a lot of people to turn up without tickets to be able to be part of the event atmosphere, we'll be using this technology to see how how crowded places are outside the stadium to make sure we can keep people safe. If we see that there's too many people in particular locations, we'll be able to send our security and our customer service staff to be able to manage those crowds and make sure that people are having the best time that they can. So we're still uh, validating the, the technology as well and making sure that what we're seeing in the data is, is reflecting on what's happening on the ground. But we see that there's a real opportunity for us to expand this technology to other places where they, they have to manage crowds, um, other stadiums, other public precincts um, across New South Wales where they have thousands of people that they need to keep safe. This technology scans our CCTV vision that we're collecting and it will alert us when there's an issue where they see that crowds are, are becoming too dense or if the crowd mood is turning negative. It will then send an alert to our team so that they can make the decisions on what to do next and, and intervene to make sure that people are, are safe at all times. So privacy is incredibly important to us and we have safeguards in place with this technology to make sure that people's privacy are, is protected. We, the technology looks at people's faces but it never identifies people and we never collect personal information through this technology. We've gone through very rigorous processes including the New South Wales Government's privacy impact assessments as well as uh, the AI assurance framework to make sure that we're meeting all of our obligations around privacy. We think it's really important to keep the community informed about the technology that we use in our public places at Sydney Olympic Park. So we've introduced signs and information on our website so that people can understand the types of technology like the Creating Safer Places technology that's in place. And they have access to all of the information and are able to provide us with feedback about what they, they think about the technology.